how's it going guys and welcome to best friends uh so basically what we're gonna be doing is uh showing you how i make my videos because why not this is mostly used for beginners um that are just wanting to start their own youtube channel um so yeah this is mostly meant for quests if you play on pc there's probably another way to do this I really don't know, because I have never experienced PC VR, except for that one time out of VR Arcade, but I don't want to talk about that because that was like two years ago. I want to tell you everything that you're going to need. So, you're going to need your phone slash iPad, uh, or like phone, tablet, uh, it, there has to be either the inbuilt iOS, uh, like recording software, uh, that I use, um, and if you're on Android, I don't really know what to say because there are a bunch of them that you can use, but any phone will work as long as the Oculus app is supported. Uh, make sure that your Wi-Fi isn't super laggy because, uh, yeah. Um, uh, it'll make your video super laggy and it's not that fun when you have a super laggy video. You're also going to want a pair of earbuds or headphones. They just have to have a mic. They can be wired or not as long as you as as long as you can stand up or sit down with them and you will still be able to see your recording to either your left, right, or center because I usually look through the nose hole. Or I don't know. So uh you're also gonna need like an editing software and a browser and that that's basically all you need. Uh, it sounds like a lot of stuff, but let's just get into it. So, first, uh, I'm just gonna talk about how I record my videos, uh, in general. So, of course, I record on the Oculus app. I know, I'm one of those people. I don't record my audio separately. I know a lot of people do it. I don't really do it, though, because, like, <laughs> just, I just, I don't really know. I don't really have, like, a PC or anything. I might be getting a PC sometime in April. So, yeah, we, we may never know. Uh, there's also the settings. You can also have the, uh, your headset audio. That can be, that can be used at varying levels of greatness because I really don't like having a headphone that is blasting Jumbotron music while I'm hearing it from my headset. It's pretty annoying, all things considered. Um... So, first off, you're going to want to hit the little record button, which is right here if you are on iOS. As you can see, we've got this. And, yeah, there's the little recording thing. And, uh, yeah, that's how I record my videos in general. Um, and also, if you hit the little mic button, you will be able to pick up the microphone in your headphones. Which, I should probably talk about my headphones. So, I don't know. I know that my mic quality isn't the best, but I use, um, Skullcandy Sesh earbuds. I'll probably put a picture up on screen of what they look like. These things are really good, uh, mostly just for audio. Think of them kind of like Raycons, just less bass. <laughs> um, but even so, any headphones or a headset that has a way to record audio or if your mic is going to be your best option um and then now i want to go into how i make my thumbnails so first off uh i already have stuff prepared because this is like my second attempt making this video so basically you're going to want to make a solid background you can add anything you want in the background uh, I don't really do this a whole lot. I think I might have done it like once or twice. I am really not sure. So let's just say I want something neon in the background. And to get like, I don't know, maybe like light yellow because it kind of like goes off. And basically we are just going to do that. So now we have a little thing right here. And that's basically it. Then you can want to freeze it. So now it's frozen, you're going to want to pull out your camera, um, then you're going to want to try to get it to a place that won't show anything else in the background. So like, maybe like right here is good. Then you're going to want to put the timer on and 
all you gotta do is you just gotta make an emotion or just anything you can do this you can do you can do that or like what whatever people do these days uh i what i'm thinking of doing is i'm thinking of just doing a close-up which this is gonna be how this is going to be the thumbnail for this video so this is basically a production of a sort of how to and how i make this so usually what i do is i'm just gonna go like that and then take a photo and then I'll do the rest of the editing and I'll show you how you actually extract it from RecNet or you, you gotta extract it from RecNet, which I might do a tutorial on, uh, maybe. I'm probably never gonna do it, <laughs> but yeah. So, so all I gotta do is I just gotta do this. Okay, well, uh, that didn't work. Alright, that works. Now you're gonna want to hit the little share button. Uh, it was a little laggy there. So, now what you're gonna want to do is go into your web browser, go to RecNet, and look up your profile, and then find your thumbnail. And this is where we gotta actually go out of Rec Room for this. Uh, if you don't want to go through the hassle of actually doing this, then that's fine. But, I'm gonna basically cut to me and my thumbnail uh stuff so yeah um i'm not gonna be going over editing because that's gonna take way too long so yeah just enjoy uh so uh yeah i'll see you when i'm in my little software thing that i use to make my thumbnails all right so now we are in our little thumbnail editing software yay <laughs> so now uh, first, I want to go over, uh, you can use these, but I honestly don't think a lot of these actually look that good. Um, although, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm probably just going to use this because it looks more like a PC player or whatever. But then, then you're going to want to hit done. And here we are. So first off, let's just say you want to add text. You just got to tap and you can add the text that you want. Uh, I'm just going to put, since this is going to be the title for this video, I'm just going to put how to make vids. Um, of course, it is in Comic Sans, only the most epic. Now you're going to want to put the size down if you want style. Um, I usually do say, like, it, it doesn't really matter what the style is, to be honest. Let's maybe do, like, a nice... A nice white, if I can actually find white and not pink. I'm pretty sure all I have is that, okay. Then stroke, we're just gonna put as maybe like orange, because this is gonna be like a how-to vacuum type thing. Make the width like this. And then background, I don't really use this. I know a lot of people use this, but I don't use this. So I'm just gonna make it so then there's nothing. And there we go. I'm gonna add another thing. Um, I'm just, just gonna say, like, this loser, and then it's gonna have an arrow that points to me, so why not? And also, let's just say you want a little channel icon in the bottom corner. You don't wanna add image. That's it. Um, all this is just, like, random photos. I probably censored it. But you're just gonna want to, um, pick a photo. Overall, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna pick like this. So now that we're in here, we're going to want to pick either the circle or the square. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put it as a circle. Put it as whatever part you want. So I hit done. And now we have a little channel icon. Let's put it right there. There are a bunch of other settings like uh, alpha, like how it should be shaded or whatever. Uh, like, basically, it's priority, I guess. And yeah, so that's how I make my thumbnails.